So hi, my name is Zach Sheffield. This is my embedded systems project. I took the uh, idea from the Blue Man Group, the drum bone, and added some uh, some motors to it. Um, so I'm just going to show you how it works. Um, you power it up. Give it a second. Um, so I have the drum stick hitting. I adjusted it so that you can actually hear the drum set or the drumstick hit. Um, in real life, it doesn't make that clicking noise. It makes more of a drum bone noise. Um, but you can hear it go at regular intervals. Um, and then with this knob over here, I'll show you later, it's adjustable. So if I turn the knob, it speeds up a little bit. Foot pedals here to control the up and down movement of the pieces. So these two control the left piece over here. It moves up and down when I hit the foot pedals. And these two control the up and down movement of this guy. Like that. Um, the point is. The point is that uh, when the drumstick hits the PVC pipe, it makes a sound wave. And the longer distance that the sound wave has to travel through the tube, the deeper the pitch is. And so by moving the tubes in and out of each other, you create different frequencies of sound, which creates music. Um, so the basic way that it works is I have these two motors. I have this one and this one here to control just with a string. Uh, how far up and down the, the PVC pipes are. And they're just treadmill motors. You can get them on eBay for like 30 to 60 dollars. Um, and right now I have a, right now I'm plugged into a voltage source over here, but it's really easily done uh, with the trans, like with the power system, just create a transformer and uh, get what you need off of that. Um, inside this magic box here, well I can show you this too. These pedals are plugged into the front of the box, um, and, and I'll show you the, the setup inside, actually, right now. Um, move those down. Inside the box is pretty much just a jumble of wires. Um, what we've got is an Arduino Uno that's pretty much controlling everything. That's the heart of the embedded system. This piece right here is a H bridge. It's a dual H bridge uh, which controls uh, the motors going back and forth. Um, and this light you see blinking here is actually when the solenoid hits. So if I change the knob up here, you can uh, see it blink faster. And that represents the solenoid if it was plugged in. But it's really annoying, so I didn't plug it in. Um, this is by array of transistors because they burn out quite a bit. And all I'm doing for the solenoids, I have a transistor here. I'm hooking up over here. I have 8.3 volts running the solenoid um, and 15.6 running the, uh, the motors. And um, the solenoid takes up quite a bit. Like if I do plug it in, you can see that the, the current spikes over here. It doesn't show it very well, but it spikes. It gets up to about three amps instantaneously. So um, obviously the Arduino can't handle that much, and so I have to just use the Arduino as a control device. And when it sends a five volt signal to that MOSFET, it uh, allows current to pass through and uh, go to the solenoid. Um, I made it really simple to hook up over here. I just got the. Three plugs, <laughs> I just wired them. So the black and the white go to the two treadmill motors and then this yellow one goes to the solenoid. And it's really simple, They're, this one's bigger than that one so you can't, you can't plug it in backwards, you have to plug it in the right way. Really simple interface and then the back, I just have uh, two cords hooked up for power. Again, just to show you how everything works, the uh, solenoid is set up on a timer. I'm 
the, the solenoid is set up on a timer interrupt, so it's always going to go at the same time. Um, and then the motors is just, the motors are controlled in a round wide loop. Um, so it's fairly simple. So no matter if I'm running, so I can adjust the tempo and move two motors at the same time. Go the same tempo. Um, you adjust the tempo, I'll show you the code later. Uh, but you adjust the tempo, I'm going to repeat. With this knob. And it's pretty simple, it's just a potentiometer, and there's also a switch here. And this, both of these are just hooked straight up to the Arduino. Um, actually, the way this is hooked up is I've got five volts coming in one end, this end goes to ground, and then the middle part goes to the analog uh, input signal in the Arduino, so it's an analog read. And the analog, okay, the analog uh, input in the Arduino reads a signal, uh, 10, bit ac 10 bits of accuracy, and it reads it in uh, 0 to 5 volts. So whatever this is set at tells me what the delay time on the tempo needs to be. And all this switch does is make it so that uh, if it's in the off position, this isn't hooked up. So if it's in the off position, it won't do a read. If it's in the on position, it does read. Um, so that's the interface, and uh, that's how it works. So here we'll just walk through the code uh, real quick that runs the system. Uh, the first thing you do in the code is uh, pin assignments. So there are six pins that can uh, control the motor. The way the H bridge is set up, it needs two direction pins and one enable pin for each motor. So that's what this does. Uh, the next four are pedal controls, and that's just the the pedal or the switch that's hooked up to the board. So it knows when to signal the motor in which direction. Uh, the next one is solenoid control. So, uh, pin 12 signals when you want to change the tempo. Pin 13 uh, signals when to turn on and off the solenoid. And pin 0 is uh, the analog pin, the read tempo. It's where it's going to take its analog read to change the tempo. Um, these are just a couple of different things. Um, Tempo is going to turn out to be a number between 0 and 1. It's going to be a percentage. Um, and that'll be the amount of time. We'll talk about that in a second. Uh, the on time, this is the number of clock cycles that the solenoid is on. Uh, so that is always constant. What changes the tempo is the amount of time uh, that it's turned off uh, in between drum beats. Turns out that uh, there are 16,383 clock cycles in one second, and so this is how we're going to do deal with the tempo. Um, here is just the setup. I'm setting all my pin modes. Um, in addition to that, I also uh, get a new tempo, uh, and that's how this, this works right here. So when this function is called, it performs the analog read. Uh, it's 10 bits of accuracy, so it's a number between 0 and 1023. Um, and to keep it from being 0, I just uh, make it, I add 1 to it and then divide it by 1024. Um, and that way this number is always going to be between uh, 0 and 1. It's a float up here. Um, and then what I do is I just multiply this percentage times the number of clock cycles per second. So the most at the off time will be is one second, which means that uh, the greatest tempo, or the slowest tempo, is going to be 60 beats per minute, or one once per second. Um, and it can be anything in between 0 and 1, uh, the tempo that is. Uh, this is uh, actually changing the timer to make it uh, for a different value. Uh, so the chain, so 
this stops the interrupts and this all of this code I got from the um, the website listed below it's really helpful and really thorough on Arduino timer interrupts uh, the only thing really interesting here is this this sets the register to uh, a certain off time and like I said this is the only thing that changes um, the on time is always the same uh, so down here this function is the actual interrupt when the interrupt comes in and signals this is the function that runs um, and this is just a oops this is just a uh, syntax thing uh, again from that website but what it does is simply toggle the solenoid on and off um, if it if it is set to one then we're gonna write a signal a high signal we're gonna change the state and then we're gonna change uh, the timer to be the on time which is 3000 so the timer resets when the interrupt is signaled it goes from 0 to 3000 and it's not signaled again until it reaches 3000 um, at that time it comes back into this interrupt it sees that well the solenoid state just got set to 0 so it's gonna come into this else statement and it writes a low signal to the solenoid turning it off toggles the state and then sets the timer to off time so it's a pretty simple interface and it works really well uh, this is the main loop first thing it does is check to see if we need to get a new signal um, because getting a new tempo um, requires an analog read uh, you don't want to do this every iteration of the loop only if this signal is active and so that's why there's a switch there uh, but we already went over this function up above. Um, the next part is just reading the pedals for each motor. Simply read in the state of the pedals. If they're the same, so if they're both pushed down or they're neither are pushed down, uh, then this is a uh, we're not going to send power to the motor. The H bridge I bought actually has a brake mode. B R A K E. And the way to do it is uh, you, en you enable the motor and then s set both direction pins to low. And it kind of slows the motor down a little bit. Um, else if uh, pedal 1 is pushed in, and I've got uh, enable the motor and make it go up. Uh, if pedal 2 is pressed, enable the motor and make it go down. Uh, and same thing for motor 2. So it's a fairly simple round robin loop with interrupts. Um, and as you saw in the video, it works pretty well.